Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of parent functions. This is standard A.7C in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 of the 2017 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the graph of f of x equals x squared. It was transformed, and then we've got this new one here. So how could we describe that transformation? Well, let's just start with this f of x equals x squared. We're going to call that our parent function because that is the most basic vanilla quadratic function we could ever think of, right? So it's just going to be like this. It's going to go through the origin. It's going to be facing up. Not much is happening. Now, what happens when you add an add, and in this case it's a negative 7.5 within the x before it gets squared? So let's, let's see what happens. So g of x, what we're doing is we are taking this x, and we're going to subtract something. We'll, so we'll say it's c here before it gets squared. What does that transformation do? Well, this c, it's actually very interesting. So it's counterintuitive. If the c is less than zero, so in this case, it is less than zero because it's going to be a negative, right? You actually move it to the right. So it's a horizontal shift. It's just going to move along the x-axis, but it's going to move to the right. So it's a negative number and it's going to move to the right. That's the counter to the part. If the c is greater than 0, that means it's a positive number. It's actually going to move horizontally to the left. Which means, if we've got this negative 7.5, we're going to take this exact same function. We're going to find 7.5 on our x-axis, and then we're going to draw that exact same thing. Nothing else changes but it actually moves 7.5 to the right. So if that's the case, what are these other two options looking at? Because both f and g deal with a horizontal shift either to the right or to the left, 7.5. Well, if you think about it, 7.5 squared, that's going to get you that 56.25. So they're imagining that you would square this and then shift it up or down. But the problem is, is we don't shift it up or down like that. What happens is, if we wanted to shift it up or down, we would go like this. We would say that x squared and then plus d. And so that d, if it's going to be a positive, if d is going to be greater than 0, it shifts up. If d is less than 0, it shifts down. So it has to be outside of the exponent just sitting as an add end on the end, that's what shifts it up or down. So it's not going to be that h or that j because those are going to happen when you have a d outside of that exponent. So we, we need to remember here that if it's, if it's a minus 5, minus 7.5 like it is right here, it actually moves it to the right. So it looks like that f is going to be the right answer. But let's go ahead and open up our graphing calculator, double check just to make sure. So we're going to open up our y equals, and let's go ahead and get our parent function in there. So let's just say y equals x squared. Take a look at that, and there's your vanilla graph right there. So if we're going to graph this g of x, we're going to get back into that y equals. Scroll down, and what we need to do is we need to make sure uh, that we are very clear that we put the parentheses around there, because if not, we're going to enter it incorrectly. So we want that x, and then we want the minus 7.5. Then we need to close the parentheses, then square it. So that uh, add end, that negative add end is within the x. And then let's go ahead and graph that. So it's the red one that we're looking at here. And you notice how it gets shifted over to the right. And if we wanted to uh, trace this other one right here, we could see that it is going to be at that 7.5 right there. So that is going to be our answer here. It's going to be F. It's a horizontal shift to the right, 7.5 units.